Hi loves, this is BB Cigar Saint Sister Cigar and Tobacco Aficionado living the cigar lifestyle for 28 years somewhere between Saint and Sinner. Welcome to the Mukbang. You're coming into uncharted waters. For some, it will be known moments and unknown moments. But welcome, everyone. I set the tone with mysterious music for a mysterious meat. I have a craving for pate. Pate, darlings. And I count down to Cinco de Mayo. This YouTube channel, my Tada squads, my Tada stars, will celebrate one year anniversary. That's right, one year for Cigar Saint Sister. So welcome, darlings, to the Mukbang. Funny how time flies. It's been a year coming this Saturday, and so yes, there will be visuals. But I just got back from the beach. I feel so relaxed and so chilled. So I was like, with the mysterious music, with the mysterious meat, let's get into the mukbang. I am the mukbang muse, and I have everything ready to go. With the pate, and this is the liver pate, you have the pickles. And you have the noodles. Is there something intimate about eating with your hands as much as you can? That's just me. The champagne cheese. I also have lovely harsh radish mustard. This is gonna be so delicious. And there may be noise coming from my neighbors. They're cutting the grass. But we shall move forward because I love natural lighting and I'm going to keep the door open. So if you hear the noise of the lawnmower, let's just keep moving. On deck is Rolling Rock. Absolutely a delicious pale ale. With a little bit of ice, I'm going to enjoy that. No cigars for this mukbang. The pate, the noodles, the champagne cheese, the horseradish mustard, and these beautiful chips by Toe House. I will list everything in the description. But I'm gonna have a good time. But there is tobacco because there is a duster. I'm snuffing for this session, so I will be using my little duster. It's a travel duster I use with my nasal snuff and my paisley handkerchief that music is so beautiful right as a romantic and victorian goth welcome to the moon okay that was so cute i love that intro I will have tobacco for this mukbang, just not the cigars, but I will be filming again with a cigar smoking session later, so check back. Here is lovely nasal snuff, snuff tobacco with three beautiful gradients, the green, the brown, and the black. That black is like very coalish. And I have the snuff spoon and then I have my little snuffer and the snuff spoon. This is Dolakia Taj, the black one. It is an Indian snuff. This is a British snuff, the brown one. That is cheese and bacon by Toke. And this is an Indian snuff here. Now this one is new. This is Begum Green Snuff and it's an Indian snuff. So I will be getting into this snuff as we start the mukbang. So I hope that you have your essentials because this mukbang is going to be everything. 
and I'm gonna just dive in. So let's start with some good music here. And I think I'll play the little dark spot again as I talk to you. How about that? So let's start from the beginning. This is such a beautiful music. Now, Pente can be bought in many different textures, many different type meats. It could be a duck pate, but I have the nice liver of pork. And it's very creamy in texture. So I'm just scooping up some here and I will list in the description exactly about the pate in detail but this one is so lovely it's seasoned really good and it doesn't betray the liver taste and it also has truffles you can eat it by itself it's just that good if you like pate different pates have different flavorings so you just have to see what's what also, uh, I'm going to put a little bit of horseradish mustard on here. This is going to be so good. And there it is. Just lovely. I have two different kind of uh, crackers. Both of these are Toe House. I'm so hungry, so we're going to get started on this. But people would entertain with the pate, especially back in the 60s and 70s. Different styles. And sometimes you don't even need the mustard. You could just go for it. I love a flavorful cracker. Especially this particular pate is so elegant with the truffles in there. Mmm, delicious. So I'm not going to play no games this time around. I know when I did the um, corn on the cob, I was a lot more talky talky. And this is a fire taste. not for everyone but for those that it is go for it pickles are essential with this pickles are already juicy so when I took them out the jar I want them down to be less juicy And the noodles, they're spicy, but they're not like the spicy noodles that a lot of people do the mukbangs on. I just have flakes of red chili pepper and white pepper. And I do eat my hair from time to time, so there's that. I'm gonna have some of this nasal snuff here. And I'm gonna go in with the cheese and bacon because it's just absolutely lovely. Oh, you can just instantly smell that cheese and bacon. And let me tell you about that. When you set out your snuff, you definitely need to set it out before you just dive into sniffing it because it has to get the room temperature and everything like that so you want it to be at its best moment and here's the packaging for that that's toke cheese and bacon it's a lovely snuff 
by the UK. The green one that I will be using, this is the Begum Green Snuff, and that's the packaging. And I have wax paper on it because this is very hard to get off. You need like a can opener to get this top off. So when I put it in the containers and then into the refrigerator part where I keep the stuff, then, you know, it's still sealed really good because it goes back in a container, but it's just easier to put the wax paper on there instead of, you know, using a lot of your muscle power. The black snuff, this is the Delacchia Rose, well, the Delacchia Taj, like the Taj Mahal. I do have the Delacchia Rose chocolate, but this one is the Taj, and it's just beautiful. I'm going to have a little bit of the Bee Gum, the green one, and this picks it up really nicely. You can see that? And you just put it in the nose, and this has a taste of... like a alpine chocolate mint. It has a nice menthol factor, so it does open you up really nicely. So if you're stuffed up, this one is can clear the passages, but it has like a mint chocolate taste. At first, when I first started snuffing that one, it smells like toothpaste and I was like oh my god I bought this 25 gram tub of this snuff and I'm gonna have to just sell it or just trade it off and give it away for free but I'm glad I kept it again and I let it sit out for like four hours instead of an hour and after sitting out for quite some time the dynamics of the fragrance changed oh my gosh this is just so good I love it So within the nose, I have the cheese and bacon and then that mint and chocolate is going good with this one found. So I hope everyone has been doing good. I love heat in my noodles. And I do eat my hair from time to time. That's another wonderful magic trick. But this pate is good. You keep it refrigerated. I wouldn't recommend freezing it, only unless you have to. Like you can maybe firm it up for an hour if you're going to use the pate for entertainment. Then I would maybe put it in the freezer for no longer than an hour. But you don't want to mess with that texture. And then once you open it, most times using the whole thing for entertainment you can or for a meal or a snack all night. But whatever you don't use, put it back in the refrigerator. That way it can stay as fresh as possible. I'm going to put a little bit more of the mustard on there. And the champagne cheese is really good, and I will list all of this below. And right now, I'm gonna pick out and snuff out. Since I have these dipping stations, might as well take it to a different level. And with this personal use, you can double dip like that. I'm going into the block. Mmm, that's a lot. That's the Delacchia Rose, or the Delacchia Taj. Woo! 
Now that's a nose opener. Oh my goodness. And it's so moist. Oh gosh. Jesus. Woo! It will open you up. Because that one is so dark in color, you definitely are going to need a handkerchief. But those three pairings, you don't have to do it like that. This is a little extreme. But they complement each other well. The cheese and bacon. The chocolate mint. And the Taj is just, just like an aphrodisiac, so sexy. Has a nice musk, perfumey type vibe. Pay like seven dollars, eight dollars for this pate. Mmm, I love the truffle. Oh my gosh, very nice. And that liver taste is just like not in your face. I've had some abominations of pate before, you know. Oh, it's so good. And then you can spread it flat if you want to. And just go for it like that. I'm mixing up the music. I'm eating, being a mukbang muse, and a DJ. <laughs> I was craving pate and my spicy noodles and pickles, champagne cheese, my snuff. Oh, I just love it. More of that cheese and bacon. It's just a lovely snow. <sighs> and it's a busy day. That's my mom here, and she always comes in on my meat bongs, just talking away. She'll never learn. But anyway, we're not gonna edit this. She'll learn at some point. I'm gonna have to lock her up in an asylum or something. I keep telling her over and over again, don't disturb my groove. <laughs> I think she seriously wants to be on camera. Maybe she seriously wants to be me, who knows? Anyway, I love my mom, but 
At any rate, to answer your question, I'm not finished, okay? So we'll get her on camera to do a mukbang with me too. Because I think she seriously wants to be on camera. Alright, so here's the other mukbang. The other pate, I should say, of the mukbang. Now I'm all off-centered here. Ah. But these are crackers are everything. And this particular pate is holding up really, really well. It's, you know, you have some pates that could be, um, what I call after an hour or so they get kind of runny but I love this one because it's very firm and you know it still is nice and cool to the touch and the taste pickle you know I guess I'm one of those stickler people when I'm filming. I don't want y'all to think I'm harsh, but I like no noise because you know these cameras, they pick up everything, even the slightest thing. And I just like things to be real quiet, but it doesn't happen that way. I mean, you just have to keep going. So, got more good music playing. At least the lawnmower stopped. Here's some more of this great noodles. I'm still eating my hair. <laughs> my nose is real open now from the uh, nasal stuff, so I'm going back in. Ooh. That mint and chocolate really opens you up. The cheese and bacon does not have a methyl kick to it. It just has a nice nicotine kick. So I'm getting hit from all directions here. But I love it. More pate, please. This thing is getting demolished. <laughs> How much y'all doing? The cheese and bacon is everything. It's lovely. Now, they do talk about certain type of pickles that you can use with your pate. But I use the kosher dill. That's just me. Use what you want. This is a great little snack.
so good. Go outdoors <laughs> with that. Oh, we also have the maintenance man coming here to uh, check my lawn. So I just forgot about all this stuff. So so much stuff is going on right now. But it's you and me. I hope you got your appetite. Oh my God, look at this pate. Look at that. Ah. Go, go. Mmm. Choose your style chips for your pate. Which I think gives you a good vibe because it's like really like snacking when you do that. With the bread, it's almost like mm, a different level. Okay, before I'm out of here, we're going to turn up some more because I'm hungry. I think I killed those noodles. They're going. Demolish. Golly, that was good. This pickle is about going to. I could have did about three pickles. This cheese is excellent. It has the beautiful taste of champagne. So it pairs good. Now you can eat your pate solo like what I'm doing here. Once you pop the cheese in your mouth, you can cook with your pate in certain dishes. So this is really good. So good. <laughs> some more music here. I'm gonna get some more of this nose candy. Snuff is a great option when you don't want to smoke a cigar, or sometimes when you cannot smoke your cigar. But um, certain places on the beach, I cannot smoke my cigars, but I can have my snuff. So it's always a win-win for me. Oh. That Taj is very sexy. That black one. And of course, I'm not going to take all of this down. <laughs> I'm about to kill this last bit of pate. <laughs> oh, it's so good. So if you're unfamiliar with it, I haven't tried it in a long time. Please open up your palette and try something new. Mmm. Gone. Straight gone. To the last drop, baby. It's gone. <laughs> Noodles are gone. I still have some delicious chips. I'm a queen, I'm a goddess on her Mukbang Muse throne. That's it.
thanks so much for locking in with me for the mukbang. I pretty much demolished everything. I'm going to finish off the rest of my beer and just have a little bit more of this Taj and the cheese and bacon. The chocolate and the mint has opened up my nose <laughs> really good. Absolutely delicious. So thanks so much for locking in with me, BB Cigar Saint Sister, cigar and tobacco aficionado, living the cigar lifestyle somewhere between saint and sinner, and more to come. Come on back, because I will be doing cigars for the next go round in a few hours. I'm BB. And peace and love. Bye bye now. <laughs>